you tube what's up it's your boy 360 Jeezy and today I'm feeling real good right now the light is hitting me ever so slightly I got the shades on and the tent is rolling ever so nicely I'm right smack dab on the side of the you know what I mean if this was like if y'all know photography and all that stuff I'm right in the area where you need to be it's just so perfect but not nah, today I just want to talk to the students I want to talk to the angry students I want to talk to the students that's mad because they teacher decided to put on 360 Jeezy now, I don't want to come off like I'm cocky or anything but one thing I don't want you to do is be mad at me because your instructor decided to put me on the screen I know there's plenty of barbers out there I know you know I'm not the best I don't never come out and just you know brag about my skills or even think that I'm the best I know there's plenty of barbers out there that does way better work than me you know what I mean I'm still working at the end of the day but one thing I do uh, hope that you grab inspiration from is the fact that I started from the bottom I started where you was at I was in school uploading my videos and look th look at where it got me you know what I mean don't be mad at me just look at my work ethics and try to try to gleam off of that try to you know take even a little bit of what may seem you know what I mean if I if I'm not the best okay 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 but you know what I mean you could take something from me you know what I mean you could take my hard work you could take my consistency from me because without hard work consistency dedication motivation all that ties into barbering also so don't get mad because your instructor is, is, is put me on the, on, on the TV screen it's not his fault I'm just the most consistent and it's working all right but if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up I did a high taper you know what I mean it was blowed out it was like flared out a little bit curls on top curl sponge kind of on top the look was messy uh, and my client didn't want nothing off the top so if ever anybody out there that's like oh you should have did this you should have did that I can't control what the client wants you know what I mean I just give what the client wants that's what I do what the client wants you know what I mean I, I don't have no control over you know giving them the haircut that they want you know what I mean it's your boy 360 GZ hope you like this video I'm out though. Stay tuned. Alright you guys, the first thing you want to do when doing this type of cut is pick all the hair out first. That's the main thing you want to do because without doing that, you're just going to, you know, it's just going to end up being all uneven. Your client's going to go home, might pick his hair out, then it's just a mess. So make sure you pick out everything before you start cutting. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is set in my bald line using my Andis Cordless T Outliner. I'm going to set this in and I'm going to go at a slant slightly down towards his ear. Using my Andis Masters with the lever open, I'm going to go up about an inch, but I'm going to just uh, scoop out as I go. Um, I don't want to set in a harsh guideline uh, that way I want to make it all flow into the afro putting on the one guard open I'm gonna do the same exact thing basically going up about an inch but then scooping out as I go Now with the two guard open, I'm not necessarily going up an inch, I'm just kind of take off both and so it could all flow into the afro. Basically I'm trying to go in a direction that will give it a flared out look. So dropping down to the zero guard closed, in a flick out motion, you want to make sure you flick out that middle line. Even though it's going to be hard to see, there is a middle line of demarcation that you need to get out. So make sure you start below the line and flick to the line. So 
So the next step you need to take is with the lever closed in a flick out motion, again start below the line, flick to the line. Make sure that you open and adjust your lever as you go up. So again, using my Endis Masters with the lever closed, I'm gonna freehand the side, uh, the back of my client's ear, and I'm gonna give it that flared out look that he wants. Now as far as the back, it's the same steps, all right? You got your bald line, I basically got my lever closed. Then what I'm gonna do is open that lever up, scoop out take the one guard open and scoop out as well put on my two guard open scoop out just to get that initial shape Then I'm gonna come behind it with my balding clippers and freehand it into the shape that my client is looking for. Dropping down to the zero guard close in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. So second to the last step, what you want to do is close your lever and flick out that bottom line. Now keep in mind the last step is always to take a look away from your blend, come back behind it, and do some detail work. So in the front, I'm going to pick out my client's hair. That way I stretch everything out to its maximum potential. That way I can shape it to the desired flared out look. So I'm gonna spray the front line with some hairspray. That way it locks everything down. And I could just comb the hair down with my comb and you know, get his uh, hairs in the front to overlap his lineup. That way the lineup could come out more crispy.
a cut and if you like it make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button make sure you guys follow me on instagram and snapchat my snapchat is gz360 and my instagram is 360gz if you like anything that you've seen in this video as far as tools go make sure you check out the link in the description below if you like the beat make sure you go over to hustle dreams production this channel will also be in the link in the description below otherwise it's your boy 360 jeezy and i'm out of here Cheap.